Hey everybody, Prow here, and welcome to another episode here on the Bedrock Guide. And we are going to start out with our tip of the day from Aqua Blur, who says add a hopper on top of the brewing stand to brew all of the ingredients at once. And this is true. These guys actually work very similar to how furnaces work. You could put hoppers in different areas of them to fill in different parts of the brewing stand. Um, and if you were to put one above it, it will automatically fill in the ingredients. So you could put a hopper up there, maybe a chest above it, and then put several of the ingredients up here and then start to fill this guy up as well as you can fill it with uh, bo empty bottles, suck the bottles out of it once they're done, all sorts of amazing things. Uh, we're not going to go over any of that in more detail right now. There are many videos on it on YouTube, and we will actually do a guide episode on that later. And in today's episode, we are going to accomplish maybe one of the most important things in the game, and that's getting mending. What is mending? Well, mending is an enchantment you could put on tools, armor, and the best place, in my opinion, a bow. And it will actually heal those items or repair those items up as you gain experience points. So example is when you're mining with a fortune pickaxe and you break an ore it drops experience points healing the pickaxe as you mine so it actually can in a way kind of infinitely keep your um your pickaxe healed up so it never runs out of durability same thing with weapons and armor if you're out fighting mobs odds are you could probably heal it up faster than it's going to break so really really amazing enchantment to have and it is big time. You've got to have it to really advance through the game and to kind of just be efficient at what you do. Now, there are a lot of different ways to actually find mending. None of them can be are necessarily extremely easy. It is the hardest enchantment to find. But let's go over the different ways you can find it real quick before we go over what our method is going to be. One way would be by, by fishing. And specifically, using an enchanted fishing rod like this is going to help that out. You see this rod has Luck of the C3 on it. Luck of the C3 is actually going to give you a much better chance of finding higher level items, such as a mending book, and Lore 3, which means you're going to catch fish more frequently. So I can just toss this in here, and you see it takes no time to pull a fish in, and you see the little bubbles that pop up. That lets us know that a fish is there, and then once you see the little bobber get sucked down, that's when you click the button to pull it back, and then... Yeah, you could do this. It could take quite a long time though to get a mending book. You could be here for possibly, you know, several hours. You can also find them in loot chests in very various areas around the world and through a raid farm, which have mobs that drop books in them as well. So those are two pretty decent methods, especially the raid farm. If you set one of those up, not too bad of a way to get some. And look, we found two horses. Ah, I was trying to get these guys to spawn forever. He's got a lot of health. Oh, we gotta, we gotta train, we gotta like train both of them, then they won't despawn. And then, okay, that one's good. Then we have to run and get the saddle. Oh, I hope one of these guys is fast. We might finally have our new, oh, whoa, whoa. This dude's so, oh, which one is he? He's the brown one. Okay, let's go get our saddle. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, we're back, we're back. He's probably the fast one, but let's check out this guy over here first. He's really pretty, I like his white feet. Okay, here, let me on. Let's put a saddle on you. Oh, wow. You are really slow. You are super. This is the slowest horse that I've ever seen in my entire life. What is going on? Give me the saddle back. Get, get out of here. All right. All right. This is it, guys. This is it. Saddle. Oh, this is so quick. He, he could not jump worth a lick. Look, I can jump higher than that as the player. But he's so fast. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should we should we just take this horse or should we bring it uh, should we bring his brother here too? I say we bring his brother also. Barfic Newton number 2. Welcome to the family. Getting back on topic, the way that we are going to get a villager is actually using a process what is called de-zombification or curing. We're going to cure a zombie villager and turn him into a regular villager and I have a perfect plan on where these this villager can let's say live and it's gonna be using our newly made area where we did our can I get in where we did our potion brewing in the last episode if you didn't see that you want to check it out because we made potion brewing so easy and so simple and so awesome but I was thinking that maybe we can make like a little dungeon come off of this area 
And what we can do is maybe like we dig a little hole in here somewhere. And I don't know how far I can go with this. And I don't know what the layout's going to be. But I think we're going to make like a little jail like area where these dudes are being kept. It, it, it should be pretty fun. I'm going to get to do a little bit of building and let's see what comes what comes of it. And it's now all done now. Looking pretty good. I still need to bring in the soul um, like lanterns and such, but um, it'll turn out pretty good. I think in the end, once we finish all the decorating, I have water in the cells because villager like linking is kind of funky in Bedrock Edition. They can easily unlink from the beds that they need to link to to like be able to like reset their trades and that sort of thing. Um, unless you put them in water. If you put them in water, for some reason, they don't like unlink from their beds or profession blocks or anything. So although it doesn't like aesthetically look great, it's going to be functional. Like we need that to work. And like these, yeah, we have these little gaps here, but it's actually good that those are there because then we can actually reach in and like actually touch our villager and like, like trade with him no matter where he is. We'll put some torches in the back here too, just to make sure that these areas are nice and well lit. Um, I put buttons up above. And then I've actually created these little drop shoots here because we need a way to trap these zombie villagers in here. Okay, now I've told Blue Jay to not sleep because that would be terrible. We needed to wait for nighttime because, of course, that's when mobs spawn. And now we need to travel around and see if we can find some zombie villagers. Now, like I said earlier, these guys, they normally spawn all over the place. Whenever, oh, but I do not want those guys to spawn at all. Oh my gosh, where am I? What is this? What is this witchcraft? Get me out! Get me out! What just happened? Oh my god. Okay. Can, can we cover that, please? Thank you. Oh gosh, she's coming towards me. Um, there's a zombie over there. I would like to find something close to here. That way I don't have to lure them very far. I might end up having... Oh, look! Look, 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 look! Look, look! Look, there's one. There's two. There's three. We got three. We got three. Now the question is, is can I... Can I get them in here without them falling in the same one? And without me actually like killing them in some way. Come on. Come on. Oh no. You know what I didn't do? Ooh, I hope they don't despawn. I think we'll be okay. But we need to name tag them. So they don't despawn. Well actually. I'm so not prepared for this. Okay. Look. We're going to run across and jump. He's going to fall in. Perfect. And we will cover him up. Because if the sunlight hits this guy. He's toast. He'll die. So we got one. Look at him. They came right here. What is happening? This is the worst luck ever. This is literally the worst. Yeah, I, I guess they're passing through. Okay. Um, name tags. Go. Axe that. No name tags. Lure more zombie villagers over. Go. Uh, okay, here he is. Is that a baby one? I think that was a baby one. We don't need him. All right, let's get this guy over. Come on, Gary. You look like a Gary. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. Yes. You. Ah! Ow. Ow. Yes. All right. We caught Gary. Let's remember to name him that. And then. Where's our last one at? Oh, here he is. Charlie. This is Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Oh, gosh. He's running fast. Ah! Oh, my God. He's right behind me. Go. He's chasing me. He's going to get me. Ah! No. Come on. Where are you? Did he go? Ah, oh, yes! We caught Charlie! We got Charlie, Gary, and we don't have a name for the last guy. We'll have to figure that out. I'll see what he looks like. Okay, we have to hurry. We have to hurry. Hopefully, none of these guys have despawned. See, mobs do have a random chance to despawn whenever they're, I guess, like, not engaged with the player. So, please be in here. No! There's one. Oh, man! Two of them despawned! Are you kidding me? Where's, all right, well, we got Charlie. Here, Charlie. Now we need some potions of weakness. We weren't able to find any more zombies yet, zombie villagers, so we just have the one guy. But let's go ahead and let's get our potions of weakness crafted up. I actually already have two, but just to show you guys, um, I guess how to make them, we're gonna go ahead and make them now. Put the water bottles in the bottom of the brewing stand, fermented spider eye in the top, and blaze powder over here. And it's gonna turn these guys into awkward potions. Um, actually, no, it's not. It's going to change them into potions of weakness. Um, awkward potion is when you use the uh, nether wart. So we now have one, two, three potions of weakness. 
but these aren't going to do us any good because we don't want to drink it we want to hit the the zombie villager with it so we're going to take gunpowder here which is our modifier and we're going to add that and that's going to turn these three bottles of potion of weakness into splash bottles of potions of weakness so we're going to go ahead and get these guys and we'll take this in here to charlie and we're going to throw the potion of weakness in here it's probably going to get us too but that's fine uh, but let's go ahead and aim it up a little bit let's get it close to him Boop. and it is affecting him. you see the little lines above his head now we're going to take a golden apple and feed it to him he's going to start to shake Ooh, he's really mad too he's got the red particles coming up but what will happen is after a little bit of time he's going to convert himself into a baby villager and there you go woohoo good job charlie now unfortunately we actually can't do anything with charlie yet because he's not he's not a grown-up villager he's a baby villager baby villagers cannot take professions um, but i do need to get some beds in this area so i guess i'll go kill some sheep make a couple beds and we'll get prepared to be able to roll this guy for different professions also we need to make a um what you call it a lectern as well so let's go do that and making a lectern is quite simple um, all you need is four planks in this kind of t-shaped pattern with a bookshelf in the middle and the bookshelf is made by three books and then uh, three plank or six planks three on the top three on the bottom so let's go ahead and let's make a second one of these guys right here just like that and then let's go ahead and make two lecterns and now we need to go find some sheep all right, we trapped another one. We trapped another one. It took a little while to find it. There's some kind of bug that goes on sometimes where these guys don't spawn, but like any mobs will spawn. But here we have Alfonso. Now we need to find one more. Alfonso, drink up, eat up. Here comes the not so fun part. So Alfonso has grown up or converted and charlie charlie's still over here being charlie right now and we need to see if we can get these either one of them to link up with a bed first so i don't think i've seen when they link up to something they get little like particles above their head but we can't really like see them too good right now we may just like be able to see things a little bit let's pop this out and let's pop this out right here and let's place a bed down let's see what happens we should get little green part oh yep there he goes cool so he linked up with this bed and he linked up oh he linked up with our brewing stand so let's get rid of this and then let's see now he's linked up with what is he oh he's a fisherman he's linked up with all the barrels in there that's terrible that's not good at all um if i get rid of this i don't think he's going to unlink from the barrels which is this is a bad this is a bad thing um he should only be able to link up with something that he can like he shouldn't stay linked to that if he can't get to it like he should get little fail particles and then we need to give him one of these dudes right here that way he can properly link up so let's do wow, we need to be able to get to this kind of easy but he needs to be able to reach it as well so what if we put it charlie charlie what have you done Oh, uh, we ended up getting Charlie linked. Um, this isn't good because I think when I chop this up, I think he might he might change. Uh, let's try to do this. Let's try to let's break this block he's standing on first of all. Oh gosh, are we not going to be able to? Okay, we did get it. Okay, let's get rid of this. Is he? Nope. He linked with the barrel. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to temporarily get rid of all the barrels. It turned nighttime again while I was doing this, and I caught one last zombie villager. So, let's go ahead and name him. Well, Gary didn't make it unfortunately, and he doesn't exactly. He didn't look like a Gary to me, but he does look like a Greg Gary, not Gregory. Greg Gary. All of the barrels have been removed, and I've temporarily moved everything that I had in the barrels in here. And Charlie, Charlie is now a librarian. Now, when we click on Charlie, he trades us paper and he's trading us a bookshelf. Now, there's a few different trades that these guys can get in that first slot. And you see, you can't see what the other slots are. Like you could see, well, you can see what they are, but if there was a, like a book in there, you wouldn't be able to hover over it and see. So we're gonna have to kind of go through the painstaking process 
I'm gonna do this because it's gonna keep the water from getting me. Um, the painstaking process of re-rolling this guy. And what I mean by that is every time we break this lectern right here, he is going to lose his profession. And then I can, oh, what the, <laughs> um, I went down in here. Give me that back. Um, we can go ahead and try to place it right here. He is going to synchronize back up with it. And then we got to look and see what he is. So still we got a bookshelf. So we're going to try it again. Place it down. What are you going to become, sir? A bookshelf again. So we're going to have to repeat this process over and over until we get a book. And then we'll see what that book is. And we're going to have to then repeat it over and over again until we get a mending book. This is the way to guarantee that you can get whatever trade you're looking for, although it could potentially take a little while. So you have to you have to kind of deal with this back and forth of it a bit. It's a bit tedious to be sure. Come on. And efficiency three. Not very good. We're going to keep doing this and we're going to try to get mending at a pretty good price as well. Although you see, it's giving a little bit of a discount. We're going to talk about that too. Alert, alert. You're not going to believe it. It's awesome. It's amazing. This is the best thing ever. We have a mending villager. <laughs> we do. Um, oh, but we need to, we need to trade with this mending villager to lock him in. Locking him in occurs whenever you trade anything with him, his trades are locked. They won't go anywhere. Um, we, we need to go. I need, I need paper. We need to get some paper. Hold on. We got sugar cane right outside of here. We can convert that to paper. Okay. We got paper. We got paper. So this is how you trade with one of these guys. You just go up to him, you talk to him, right? Say, hello, how's it going? Our mending book's still there. And then you take your paper and I'm just gonna shift click it here and it's gonna move it up into the trade area. And I can just click on trade just like that. And then he trades me one emerald for those 24 pieces of paper. His trades are now locked. Now, there's a special mechanic that we need to take advantage of right now because 24 pieces of paper for one emerald that's a lot of work. Also, to then have to go and get 22 emeralds to give for one mending book, well, 22 emeralds plus a book for one mending book, that's a lot. I don't know the math between 22 times 24, but that that's, that, that's a lot of paper. That's a whole lot of paper. We have ways to get discounts, people. Yes, we can get discounts. Let's go do it right now. Now, we need just a regular zombie, and we need one that can pick stuff up. And actually, there's one over there holding a piece of dirt, which is perfect. So we can get these skeletons out of our way. But also, we got some phantoms trying to kill us, which is not great either. And yeah, here we go. We just want a regular zombie. It does not need to be a zombie villager. Oh, no. No, no, no. He was fighting the zombie. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Get this dude out the way. And we're going to drop this guy in one of the cells. And you guys will get to see something awesome happen. Now, when we drop him in this cell... Oh, I almost fell in the cell myself. Um, oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. He's... Ah, there he goes. Now, he's going to attack that villager right there. If you're playing the game on the hard difficulty, when they attack a villager and kill them, the villager actually gets converted to a zombie villager 100% of the time. And has it happened? Yes, it has. Awesome. And then what we can do is we can actually convert him back to a villager again. When we do this, oh, all my stuff's in here. When we do this, we actually then get a discount for every villager within a 16 block cube around this villager. So we need this and then we need, do I have one more splash potion? I don't, I have potion of weakness, potion of weakness. We need to make a couple more of these splash potions of weakness. Here's another one right here. Let's do that real quick. Now we can take Mr. Greg Gary, we can throw this at him like we normally do. We can go ahead and feed him the golden apple. Um, and then he's gonna convert back over to a villager. Now, when we take a zombie villager and then convert him to a villager, while there's already villagers in here that have professions and all that, it's gonna make this dude right here offer us some discounts. Now it's fine that this zombie is just gonna kill him over again. It's not a big deal. We may even like set up a separate chamber for this to happen to where we can have this guy stay a permanent villager. But for now, it's going to serve its purpose. So we're going to wait for that to happen. Here we go. Greg Gary has converted back over. Now he's going to kill him again. I did say on hard difficulty, they convert over 100% of the time. Let me move out the way. 
Hopefully it'll focus on him. Uh, he doesn't really need to. It doesn't matter too much anyways. But if you're playing on medium difficulty, this process will happen 50% of the time. The other 50% of the time, sadly, the villager's going to die. If you play on easy, there's a 0% chance it's going to happen. The villager's just going to die every single time. But now we should be able to check out Charlie here. And now Charlie has some discounts. Now what we actually need to do to get these discounts low enough to where we're paying next to nothing we need to repeat this process five times it did not used to be like this but they try to give us parity to java edition to make us more like them they actually they they failed they they didn't give us parity at all because in java edition um this guy converting over from a zombie villager to a uh villager would have actually made him have a one diamond discount we don't we don't have the one diamond discount so yeah, so I got to compete repeat this process a few more times make some more golden apples, uh, but we'll get there for sure We'll get there. Here we go, and it's happened. So people guys listen This is gonna be amazing. Are you ready for your socks to be knocked off? If you don't have socks on go put them on right now because I want to knock them off We have done five conversions of Greg Gary from a villager to zombie villager and back and back and back again Charlie here. I think Charlie's got something kind of special for us. Let's see what Charlie's got. Oh my god. He's got mending books for one emerald. Holy crap What do we do? We throw a bunch of emeralds at him We throw a bunch of books at him and we click this trade button a bunch of times And as you can see we are now loaded Did I say loaded? We are now loaded with mending books. Look at all these mending books. This is so awesome. This is the best. Oh, what? Oh, no. He's locked. They're locked. We can't get more. Uh, let's get some more emeralds from him, though, while we're at it. So I can go ahead and this is reduced down to 18. Not too bad. Uh, we can go ahead and we can just trade these, right? I, I think I can actually just click this right here. Hold down a shift button and no. Nope. Okay. Let's do oh, There we go. Awesome. So we got a couple more emeralds from him. I ran out of paper. We can always bring some more over. This is totally great. Oh, there's another book down here, guys. There's another book. Let's see what's in it. When you trade with villagers, you unlock new levels. So we traded enough of the mending books to get him from novice to apprentice. Now you see his experience bar right here. We need to fill that all the way up to get him up to journeyman. So we can do that pretty easily. I can always use a few more lanterns. So let's just go to the lanterns here and just hit the trade button a few times. And one more. We spent a lot of emeralds doing that, but we unlocked another book and it's protection three. Not really the greatest. Um, and he does not have a book at level four, which means that we will not be getting any more books from this guy that are useful. But if we unlock him to level five, we do get access to name tags. Every librarian has name tags level five, which, which is awesome. But honestly, even more awesome than that right now, we, we got how many mini? I think we should be 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yes, that's the maximum number of trades. We have 11 mending books. What do you say? We go do some enchanting. I think what we'll do is go buy it all in here. We'll put up a couple anvils. We need to take off all of our stuff because we need to add mending to everything. So let's start out with our tools. We'll add it to our fortune pickaxe here, just like that. We will add it to our silk touch pickaxe, just like that. Uh, let's go add it to our axe. Let's add it to our shovel. Let's add it to our helmet. We're probably going to run out of levels here soon. To our boots. So, wow, that's expensive. Um, let's see. Can we put it on our chest plate? Perfect. Our pants. We have enough levels for it, too. Let's go ahead and put it on our sword. And let's go get some levels. We'll go ahead and we will add it to our boots. Is it? Can you do it this way? No, you can't. You got to put the boots first. Got to put the boots first. Add it to our boots. And then maybe the most important thing to, to put it on our bow. Yes, it needs to go. You have to put mending on your bow, guys. Just if you've ever trusted me for anything in this series, trust me for this. Mending bows over infinity bows. Oh, it feels here. Let's just here. Let's just try it out real quick. Let's just try it out real quick. Look at oh man. Ooh, that feels so good. That feel oh. That feels so good. The power is so much it jumped right out of my hands. That is crazy. So now what we could do is we could put all of our stuff on and we can get some experience to heal these things up. Let's show that off. Now when you have mending on everything, you can actually 
repair it fully. I actually already did it with these. Um, but watch these boots as I go and I pull an item out of here for experience points. Remember, this is our experience bank, so it gives us a pretty decent amount of experience. And if I go in here and I pull this out, and I look at my inventory, fully healed. Everything is fully healed. We could do that with tools and things we put in our hand too. So for example, if I take this pickaxe right here, I wait for this potato to go through, fully healed. You see that? It's done. And now I can go through and do this with everything. And now guys, we no longer have to just keep making diamond things whenever they get low. We can just come in here, we can repair them. This is so awesome. Mending is the best enchantment in the game, especially for bows, but for everything else too. Before we end things out, let's come over here and get our reward, our winnings from Blue Jay from the last resource Rulex. I don't believe I've picked this up. Also, meet my new horse. I found another guy here. He's super fast and can jump high. We have not named him yet. Uh, Pals winnings. And yes, we got our Blackstone. And I believe I'm about to meet up with Blue Jay for a new round of resource roulette. But I got to throw some new things in the hopper first or in the dropper first. Hi, Prowl. Blue Jay, hello. It's been a minute, been a couple episodes since we've been over here. Yeah, um, it's time for me to win. I wanted to give you a little bit of break from losing. I'm gonna roll a nine Do now, it. okay? Here we go. Hit the button. Boom! What'd you get? Mm, not great, but still possible to win. A four, okay. That's not too bad, that's not too uh, bad. Put it back in, put okay, it back okay, in. Okay, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. Please roll a three Ooh, or lower. Come on, come on. What'd you get? Mm. <laughs> you got a three oh, or lower. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, I did not show anybody yet, but the fan pick that I added for this week is emeralds in light of our villager setup that just happened today. And Prowl's got one over at his place as well. So emeralds, let's get one of those rolling. No, huh? no emeralds. Please, no emeralds. I don't have easy access to them. Cooked chicken. All right. That's an easy one. I can AFK for that one. Eh, that's fine. All right, cool, cool. Bad. Okay. So we got cooked chicken on the list. Let's see what we get. Quartz times 32. That's a lot of quartz. Yeah, boy. No. <laughs> no. I'm happy about that one. Oh, God. Get All yourself right. into the nether. Multiplier. Multiplier times one. Multiplier times one. Let's put this back. Come on. Give me a one. Give me a one. Times nine. Times nine. Times nine. <laughs> yes. Is it a one? <laughs> It's a two. Okay, so one stack of quartz. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now, when we say quartz, do we mean quartz ore or quartz pieces? Uh, quartz pieces. Oh, it's quartz ore. No, Is it, it says quartz, quartz ore? ore on the on the thing. Yep. What? I've got a I've got a sheet of paper right in the middle that says quartz ore times thirty two. All right, guys. Well, this was a fun episode. We got all of our stuff set up with mending. Unfortunately, we did lose resource roulette to Blue Jay, but it's just thirty two quartz ore. At, or 64 quarts or we can get that pretty easy i guess it's turning nighttime, so i'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode i will see you guys in the next one goodbye <laughs>